welcome to Spurs. Now today I'm on the way to Ballantor, way up uh, sort of northwest uh, of Kirinia. Now you can normally take the A90 road, the Aberdeen sort of Forfa road, up towards Kirinia, but it's a horrific road. It's full of intimidating lorries and businessmen in their S-class Mercedes and their Audis. If you're stressed out, flying along the road. So I prefer to take this little A928 here, just to turn off on the Forfa road, heads towards Glams. It's a much nicer road, and when you get to the peak, there's a free wheel where you can go for about a mile uh, just freewheeling towards Charleston like so it's a lovely little road and it's a lot quieter as well. Peace. Now there are two ways that you can come into uh, Ballantour. Normally you can either go from the uh, the way I'm going now which is sort of head north just go straight up through Kirimuir or you can go to the west uh, along past the loch of Lynn Glathryn. Uh, I prefer going this way, although I must say on the other way going in you get a better view of Ballantor House. Honestly. Done lorry, honestly. So just as you come into uh, the glen there's this little corrugated iron church here which is uh, fantastic. It's closed up now but I have been in there before. Uh, but there's a man behind it. Oh, there's always a man cutting wood or something. God knows what he's doing, but uh, nice little corrugated iron church that, as you can see. Wonderful. Well, you can hear the buzzards already. Uh, here we are at the east side of Ballantor Glen. Lovely tranquil glen with gentle sliding slopes there. Plenty for the uh, the buzzards to, to eat here, although they probably won't be hunting too much because the young have uh, sort of fled the nest around the best time of year. But as you can see, there we go, heading into Ballantor, lovely glen, and we'll be going to the other side, other side, just shortly. Well, here it is, my favourite spot in Ballantor. What a lovely quiet place. The only thing is, there's two men, honestly, there's two men on the hill up there. Don't know what they're doing there, they seem to be collecting something, but I can hear their voices, so that's kind of spoiling my tranquility. There's a plane coming overhead. Can't really hear the buzzards today, as I said, there won't be really much activity today for the buzzards, as the uh, the young have already below in the nest, so... Um, but after this, I'm going to sit here for a couple of, well, maybe 10, 20 minutes, maybe have a snooze. I'm um, just going to head sort of west there towards uh, Ballantor Castle. Next time I see you, I'll be telling you about that. Get off the road! Oh my god, I'm going to hit one! Oh! Oh, what did I hit? Bloody road, honestly! Hello, and here I am at uh, Ballantor Castle. This is the gatehouse I'm in. Ballantor Castle, designed by William Byrne in 1859. Yes, it was. Lovely baronial house. It's fallen to a state of disrepair at the moment, but uh, I've been in it. Yes, I have. Right, well that's me at the end of the road now, that's Ballantor Glen, I'm on the west side now. You can still see Ballantor Castle in the distance there, but it's only about two miles, three miles at the most, this glen from one end to the other, but I've seen a fantastic variety of wildlife. I've seen buzzards, kestrels, rabbits, sheep, crows, uh, what else did I see? Oh, just loads of stuff, man. It's just a lovely, lovely drive, you know, one of my favourites. Uh, I've seen about one person. Anyway, there we go. So on the spizometer, I suppose if I get this, I'm going to give this, well, because it's one of my favourites, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 on the old spizometer. Quality music today, Dandy Warhols. Come down with the Dandy Warhols if anybody's interested in music. Uh, but there we go. Okay, thank you for watching and au revoir.
bro, where are you? I missed you today, bro. Frightening the buzzards off. Assholes. Assholes! It's shite being Scottish! We can't even find a decent colony. No, oh, that's wrong, isn't it? We can't even find a decent race to be colonised by. I don't hate the English, I feel sorry for them. It's a sorry state of affairs, Tommy. It really is. It's shite being Scottish. Oh, man. Where's my shades? Anyway. Yeah, so, Ballintor Castle, well that was sort of designed in 1859 by the architect William Byrne. A uh, lovely sort of, just a baronial house, it had loads of stuff in it, it had women's slave room, women's slave room, 